Okay. Hey, Richard. Hey, what? No, it's awful. I, I, I have a fever. Have, have you taken any medicine for it? No, but I, I have a prescription here, and the and it's a, a prescription for more monster dates. We need more dates here. With monsters? Take your table. Yes, okay. with monsters. It's very specific. I'm mm. not entirely sure that my doctor is licensed, but, you know, I trust him. Seems fair. I'm going to hang out with these dead people. Liam and Polly aren't alone at their table. They're flanked by two beefy hobgoblins in school security uniforms. What, do these two have bodyguards now? They aren't bodyguards, they're food guards. Principal, Principal Giant Spider found out we weren't eating during lunch, so he assigned guards to us because he thinks we're have, we have an eating disorder. And we do have an eating disorder. It's called being dead. Except it's not an eating disorder, it's an identity and a lifestyle. Death style. <laughs> Whatever. The point is that they won't let us leave until we've eaten our food. Which will be never. And I have a meeting of the Smug Superiority Club to conduct next period. I can't be late. If you could just figure out a way around these food guards for us, I'd be super grateful. Like, in a sexy way. Ooh. Well, you can't say no to that. Time to enact your fiendishly clever plan. Dump all of Polly foods into Liam's plate, or dump all of Liam's food into Polly's place. Oh man. Which one am I? Which one do I want to piss off more? Your date, man. I your do prom. like Polly. Sorry, Liam. Uh. <laughs> With such all betrayal. Such in betray episode two. I have, I have, changed. I have changed course. With all the deafness and raw sexuality of Indiana Jones, you empty Polly's plate onto Liam's plate and his lap. Ah! Stop that! It's too much food. I can't even artificially arrange it for a decent food pick. Meanwhile, I seem to have eaten a hundred percent of the food on my plate, no problem. Nothing to see here. Lucky for you and Polly. The hopgoblins are complete idiots with no object permanence. They instantly believe Polly's <laughs> lie. You traitors! I thought we were in this together. You thought? That was your first mistake. I stay high all the time, so I never think. You and Polly ditch the cafeteria, and then ditch school, and then do so many drugs you end up in a ditch. So responsible. Let's do this. Ooh. All at lunchtime. All Ooh. at lunchtime. Here's an adventure. So who are you going to sit with? Oh, uh, I got to go with the uh, Harry, uh... Harry boy. Harry boy. I'm a fuzzy boy. <laughs> Fair is drinking her... Oh, uh, that's you. Yeah, I just had... I, like, I, I, I coughed gently so the mic didn't pick it up, maybe. Um... But it probably did anyway. I don't know. Vera's drinking her customary lunchtime scotch because you can drink whatever the hell you want at this school, apparently. But Scott's not making it easy for her. Hey, Vera! What you drinking? What? Scotch. Why? Because it smells like a delicious forest fire, and I'm curious what you called. I'm mixing voices. <laughs> Scotch. Yes? No, that's what it's called. What? Scotch! Yes. <laughs> no! I'm not saying your name. I'm <laughs> saying the name of the drink I'm, I'm drinking. It's Scotch! It's mine? No, it's mine! Then why is it called Scots? That's just what it's called! Oh, is it like an energy drink for Scots? I mean, it's like an energy drink for Scottish people. Hey, I'm a Scottish person. I'm as Scottish as, it can poss as it's possible to be. I'm the most Scott. No, God. What will it take? You, uh, what will it take to get you to drop this issue? Scott's not gonna drop it unless you do something. So cut in and say, "Yeah, it's called Scott's, but today it's opposite day, so everything that's Scott's is actually Vera's." You're right, Scott. That drink is your birthright. Chuh, 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 chuh. <laughs> 
Hmm. Mm. You <laughs> You'll have to tell <gasps> me five times. Bottoms up. <laughs> oh boy. No. Oh boy. What are oh, you no. doing? Stop. Oh no, oh, it's not the sky. This is not this is not gonna go well. <laughs> okay, I just drank the whole bottle anyway. You utter twit. That scotch was brewed from King Tutankhamun himself. I had to have an adventuring archaeologist betrayed and murdered for that bottle. A weird thing to find in Egypt. Right? What? Sorry, could you say that again? I was blackout drunk from your scots I drank. You're impossible. I'm impossible! Hooray! <laughs> You drag Scott away and escape Vera's wrath. He spends the afternoon doing all your math homework for you. Turns out, Scott's way smarter when he's blacked out, apparently. Wow. Interesting. Wasn't expecting that. Let's change places. Every everyone chooses a food. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Quesadilla. Pizza. Both flat. How powerful an energy drink was key oh. ingredient is the selected food. Uh. Pizza drink or a quesadilla drink? Well, at least you, with quesadilla drink, you have a consistent flavor. That is true. I'm gonna give it to you. So you can drink more of it. Yeah. Without. P pizza dough is kind of filling this. anyway. And it's I don't true. know why I'm still trying to justify this. We're already <laughs> into the. Where are you gonna go? Uh, 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 I was a theater nerd. Gonna go to the auditorium. That day while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you a figurative... Give you a figurative... Give, give you, you figurative a figurative oral... A figurative oral sense. <laughs> Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. I gain to creativity. Nearby, you can see Scott and the wolf pack talking. <laughs> That's awesome. I've never seen the wolf pack before. Can't date them, though. Scott! Scott! We have the greatest power drink to date. Check this out, bro. Oh, I love power drinks. I love that he's a tree. <laughs> but wait! This new cutting-edge sports supplement is like no other before. There's no need to mix it with a beverage! You can consume it using only your nose. Oh, that's called cocaine. Though. I'm pretty sure it's just cocaine. <laughs> it's oh, called... It cocaine. Yeah, cocaine. Oh, that totally doesn't sound like your regular power drink. Which definitely means it's cutting-edge... Just like you said. Yeah, <laughs> it's like 50% energy drink, 50% protein power, and 100% raw power. That's how math I works. Have to click, I forgot. God damn it with these crazy pranks! But before you can do anything, Scott has snorted all the coke. Oh, oh, oh no, my throat. <laughs> 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 and he's gone full wolf mode. And he's basically unleashed. And now he's basically unleashed and is destroying everything he sees. He's had a rough day today. Apparently. You need to do something to calm him down. But what? Hmm. That's not of aromatherapy. Give him some lavender scented cocaine to neutralize the regular scented cocaine and relax him. Flashy fidget <laughs> spinner. You know, I have a fidget spinner that has a Bluetooth speaker in it. That sounds like a very small Bluetooth speaker. Yeah, it's pretty good. Fidget spinner. Oh, I forgot to read. I do the thing. He stops wreck <laughs> wreaking havoc and starts to stares at this fidget spinner. It's so spinny. I've done that. Oh, yeah. I haven't bought a spinach bit fidget spinner, but Just I've watched them one? in the stores. <laughs> After a while, he reverts to his normal self, because everyone knows that cocaine triggers a werewolf transformation, but a fidget spinner can cancel it. Ah, of course. Bro, this thingy is the best thingy ever. It's like 
like a very safe and friendly shuriken. <laughs> I keep it. How can you say no to that pair of puppy dog eyes? Hooray! You see Scott playing with your fidget spinner, still managing to reach some havoc despite calling it very safe and friendly. Clumsy, <laughs> handsome Scott. You gain two charm, one smart. Awesome. How is my turn? Um. Hmm. Kind of want to be. Let's see. Let's do. Um. Uh, let's get some money. That day, you spent some time on the library's PCs, managing your start kicker. You deceive lots of people with a sensationalist video and impossible promises. Nice. You gain a hundred thousand money, but almost everything goes to cover costs, and you keep only two. That's a lot of overhead. Later that night, you're out bar hopping with the two hippest monsters you know, Liam and Polly. The evening comes to a grinding halt when you're denied admission to Club Club, thus named for the giant club carried by the bouncer, who is currently denying your entry. How unsatisfactory. My modus operandi is to be the instigator of, of exclusivity, not the victim of it. Don't worry, I got this. Mm -hmm. Hey there, handsome. Inter <laughs> interested in some hot ghoul on ghoul action? The bouncer snorts. Mm. I can see right through you, Casparina. Move along. Ugh. What does that douchebag think he is keeping us out of the club like it's his job or something? Both Polly and Liam look to you expe expectantly. Now is your chance to save the night. Inside a revolution, the proletariat will own the means of inebriation. Start a better party right here. A naked party. Ding, ding, ding. Hmm. Am I fun enough to be a naked party, though? Or bold enough? Um, I think I'm going to incite a revolution. <laughs> you turn a nearby trash can upside down and use it as your podium. You talk of justice. You talk of revolution. You talk of affordable bottle service. Tears fill everyone's eyes, especially Liam's. On your signal, the waiting crowd rushes Club Club. The Bouncer's Club is no match for the mm -hmm. will of the people. Nice going! BRB gonna steal all the nice vodka while the bartender's still on fire! Was that... Was that Sergei Tos Tosovsky's rallying Tosovsky. speech from... Oh, I'm not even gonna try that. <laughs> it was! <laughs> You knew that 17th century Russian goblin literature elective would get you street cred. Uh, looks like you're storming your way into Liam's heart. You gain plus two smarts and plus one charm. Here's a Ooh, that weekend something's gonna happen to me! But something else is gonna happen to both of us. Uh oh. Is it scary? No, it's just the end of the episode. <laughs> Whoa. Until then. I was startled. Uh, yeah. Until I. Uh, so I'm gonna keep interrupting you until you end the episode. Until. Uh, 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 until until next time. I'm Richard. I'm Jess. And we appreciate you. Moo. Oh. The okay. joke, like the cow. Yeah. The interrupting. Yeah. <laughs>